people of Reddit, what stupid rule at your work or school backfired beautifully? Mystery of stuff. Not really a rule, but a change in policy. I used to work for a major beer distributor as a delivery driver. They decided to start using less glue in the packaging to save money. We're talking a few cents per package. As a result, breakage during distribution increased drastically causing them to eat a lot more damaged product. It caused such a large loss in profit that they quickly changed course. Edit, since everyone is making guesses about which company I worked for, it was Anheuser-Busch. But it seems this is a common trial period for many beverage distributors. The dealership I was working at decided they wanted to save money by not having the cleaning crew come in after hours. People started leaving the dealership to go home to go to the bathroom because they were disgusting. I lived pretty far away so I would just go use the GM's private bathroom. My boss started putting all staff required to start 15 minutes earlier than indicated on the roster. I started keeping track of my unpaid overtime and stung her for three paid days off. That's not required anymore. I was working as a medical assistant at a private practice medical clinic. Our clinic manager wouldn't allow the new receptionist to drive to the bank to deposit cash. Made her walk carrying the money bag so that she couldn't drive away with the money. Bizarre. I know. That went on for a few weeks. Then the receptionist was mugged and over $1,000 in cash was stolen. She was allowed to drive after that. I worked at Starbucks for like 5 plus years before and during undergrad, and at one point our district manager thought it was a good idea to implement a just say yes policy, where we literally weren't allowed to tell the customer no. Lasted for about 3 months and in that 3 months our unaccounted product and waste went up over 300% because when the POS didn't have a way to punch in a customer request we had to just do it anyways. We also got complaints from stores in surrounding districts because they had angry customers who were requesting things that were against local food service code and told them that we did it for them at our store. I knew exactly how that policy was going to play out and I just laughed every time management was freaking out about the problems it was causing. Back in the early 00s, my high school implemented a policy that you had to wear your ID tag at all times. If you didn't have it on, you were sent home. So many students lost their ID tag to go grab food or skip a class. We were the only graduating class to wear them all four years. The policy ended soon after. Every shift, there's a quota we need to fulfill. And then, even if you do fulfill it, you have to keep working until your eight hours are up. Cue everyone speeding for four hours, having a three-hour lunch slash coffee break, then slowly moving their ass for an hour. No rule about us taking necessary breaks if we're still capable of reaching the quota. Now we're allowed to stop once we're done. The bottom floor of my secondary school was a square that had corridor all the way around. After some incident where a kid got knocked over, they implemented a one-way system. Unfortunately, they were very strict on enforcing it. If you accidentally walked past your class, you couldn't just turn around. They seemed very proud of their new rule, until everyone started showing up late for class because they had to do extra laps of the bottom floor. My daughter is experiencing this with COVID one-way rules. They're only actually in school once or twice a week between snow and hybrid so none of them know where the hell they're going, and if they miss, they have to go around again. A place I used to work had a rule that executive level staff needed to be contactable when on leave, so they had a section on the leave form for the address of where you'd be staying and a contact number. Some knuckle shuffler in HR decided it applied to all staff, and the shenanigans began. People would put down the address and phone number of sex shops, sports grounds, medical clinics. I gave the latitude and longitude of the place I was going camping, and the UHF frequency channel my radio would be tuned to. To make moving between classes more efficient, they had designated up and down stairways. But they didn't take into account that the stairs were located at the ends of the very long corridors, which meant it was impossible to get to your next class on time. Because of this, no one bothered trying to get to class on time, 
and just blamed the stairway rule. Late 80s high school rule was no shorts. Classmate came for an exam with basketball shorts on that were below her knees. Teacher made her go home to change. She came back in a micro mini skirt and wrote her exam. Not sure if this applies, but I worked at a restaurant that started doing Thursday night trivia in hopes of more traffic. The prize for the winner was their ticket would get comped. One guy asked to have everyone in the restaurant s food put on his ticket. And then won. They stopped doing trivia night. I went to a strict Catholic school with uniforms. The kids in 4th to 8th grade had to wear belts until we got a new principal who made it mandatory for all the kids in the school to wear belts. Many bathroom accidents from kindergartners, 1st and 2nd graders later, and complaints from parents of course, the principal rescinded her addition to the dress code. More recently, this principal was fired for embezzling money from the school. This one is great. We had a no dating at work rule then the director started seeing someone and other people had their hidden relationships as well. That rule was nullified when the director announced his engagement and so about six other couples came out. We no longer have that rule however people are to let the admin know of relationships now. Students used to smoke in the toilets. So headmaster decided to lock all male toilets except one, five places in one. Now my school had around 700 students, out of which around 300 were male. Everyone realized that it became impossible to go to the toilet quickly. Result? Some guys went in one and pissed slash defecated in all trash cans. A lot. No one found them, but all the other toilets opened up immediately. Edit, for clarification, this happened in Eastern Europe. Mystery of Stuff